Hey there, Gavin Gear here from the Extreme Windows blog, and I'm here at CES 2014 in the MakerBot booth with MakerBot CEO Bree Pettis. Thanks for having me over. I really appreciate it. Great to have you here. We've we've dropped some really cool stuff. I know. I was I was at the press event. I was really hoping to see a new replicator, and you completely blew me away with three <laughs> new 3D printers. Talk to me about these new printers. We are not messing around. <laughs> we have made these three printers, small, medium, and large, consumer, prosumer, industrial, strength, professional, so that there's no, there's just no excuse. All your excuses are invalid for 3D printing. You, you, you have to get one. It's just a matter of which one. And if you're just getting into it, get the MakerBot Replicator Mini. If you're an engineer, industrial designer, architect, get the MakerBot Replicator Desktop. If you like to think big, get this baby right here, the MakerBot Replicator Z18. 12 by 12 by 18 inch build volume. This is out of control, <laughs> huge, and they're all amazingly affordable. This is, uh, the small one is $13.75, the medium one is $28.99, and this one is $64.99. Somebody said $64,000, <laughs> and I said no, $6,499, and they were like, no way. This is a game changer. This one. This is, this is really going to unleash people's creativity in a big way. So why don't you show me the new printers? Let's, let's see these things up close. Okay, let's start, let's start with the, the MakerBot Replicator Mini. This is, is just, it's really set up to make beautiful objects, but it's really a tidy package. And, you know, goes in right there. There's no leveling required. Wow. Which is a big deal. And it's, it's one touch 3D printing. There's just one button. You'll send the model wirelessly or over USB and it'll blink when it's ready and you'll just press the button and it'll go. Uh, let me show you the smart extruder here. We've got, this is the smart extruder. Oh wow. And you can see it's set up so that you can just, it's really easy to swap it out and get things set up and uh, this is great. All three of them have this so it's, there's really no compromise. Looks really fast. Yeah, this is, this is hot stuff. Great. So this is the MakerBot replicator. This is the next generation replicator. This really, uh, this, this is the next thing after the MakerBot replicator 2. And you notice it's not the MakerBot replicator 3, it's just the MakerBot replicator. Fits on your desktop. This is the machine for industrial designers, architects, engineers. This is the one, you know, we've made the build volume a little bit bigger. Uh, it's 8 by 10 by 6 inches, so you can make bigger things. And, uh, it just, it just, it's more room for your creativity. Glass build plate. Oh, nice. And there's, um, in this machine, there's uh, assisted leveling. So as a MakerBot operator, you know, one of the things that can be, takes a, a lot of patience is leveling the build platform. We've made it so there's a sensor on the smart extruder. So you just turn the knob on the bottom and until the light goes on, and your, your, your build plate is level. That sounds really good. It takes time, it means you're gonna be able to get to the making things faster. This is, has the same powerful smart extruder, has the display, you can put a USB, you can put your models on a USB stick and stick them right over here, or you can connect wirelessly. So good. Tell me about this filament storage system. So this is set up so you put you snap the film in, in here and then you it's really easy to feed it through there and then it just goes down like that. Wow. So it's uh, it just we wanted to make it easy for people to replace the film. It reminds me of my wire feed welder. Right. Just throw it in, pipe it through, you're done. <laughs> One of the pieces of feedback we got from our community is having the film in on the back meant you had to basically turn the thing around all the time. This means it just sits on your desktop and you're good to you're good to go. You can just load it from the front. That's awesome. Ready to rock and roll. So that's the MakerBot replicator. Okay. This might be the most disruptive 3D printer we've launched today. This is the MakerBot replicator Z18. And you can make huge things with this. It's 12 by 12 by 18 inch build volume is just epic. Wow, There's, can I hold that? Yeah, yeah. A full helmet. That is so cool. <laughs> and that's where the name comes from, right? Z18, 18 inches high that's, in the Z direction? That's correct. You've got it. Exa that's exactly right. And it's one, there's a, one, one special feature about this that the other two 3D printers have. This has an enclosed and heated build chamber. Oh, wow. When you make big things with PLA, 
it's not necessarily in this, necessary in the small the smaller machines, but when, with big things to keep it dimensionally stable, it's good to heat the environment while you're making things. So that really makes a difference. And ooh, this is going to be used in to make amazing, you know, sci-fi props. This is going to be used to make, you know, in factories to make jigs and fixtures to manufacture things. We're actually going to use this in our factory to make jigs and fixtures. The uh, the possibilities here, we just open up a lot more. And you can do larger one-piece 3D prints, right? That, that's right. That's big. You don't have to print out separate pieces and glue them together or snap them together. Um, that's a huge step forward for yeah. MakerBot. Yeah, I mean, the other that's right. If you have one of the, the, the other machines, you could make things that were big and just make them in separate pieces. Mm -hmm. This lets you really go, bam! You can also use this giant build plate to make lots of things. Mm -hmm. So maybe you make one on the MakerBot Replicator Mini, you can make nine of them on this build plate. So it means that you can, it, you, it's, this is also like a production machine. So you can start a print, you can print a whole bunch of objects, you don't have to sit there and come back and restart it, or anything yeah. like that. Awesome. And all of these printers are uh, supported by a Windows 8.1 driver that's under development, I understand? Yeah, I mean, we've had so much success with our last generation of 3D printers just working seamlessly on Windows 8.1. We've gotten feedback from people that it actually it's a huge advantage. They they use their MakerBot more because it's so easy to just you know drag and drop something and 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 set it, send it off to the to the printer in Windows 8.1. And we're going to do the same things with the same thing with these with these 3D printers. It's, that's that's awesome. And you know, there's nothing like hearing from a customer from a MakerBot operator that they had an idea and it just works. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about the Windows 8.1 so cool. driver. So people can expect to see these rolling off the production line spring 2014, is that right? Yeah, the, the MakerBot Replicator desktop, you can order now and we'll ship it in a couple weeks. The other two are oh, set wow. to be released, uh, set, to, set, to, set to start shipping in spring. That's really exciting. And if people want to know more? Go to MakerBot.com, we got all the, we got everything for you. That's great. I'll also have more information on the Extreme Windows blog, so check out the accompanying blog post. Thanks, Bree, I really appreciate it. It's you. always a pleasure Very hanging excited. out with you. Right on. <laughs>